Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Backroads County. I'm just in the house restocking on some coffee. We've been hard at it trying to get uh, our cornfield harvested up. We ran into some rain late yesterday. So unfortunately it kind of ended up a little bit later than we wanted it to. We just actually finished up about an hour or so ago. Um, we're just trying to get everything into our trailer so we can get it over and get it unloaded into our silo. And that's what we're going to do. We have some dirty equipment today, too. But this equipment actually did us quite well. Of course, this particular tr uh, truck and trailer setup didn't really move much at all, so aside from going to the silo, and that's about it. So it really hasn't gotten much dirt on it. Not like the other pieces of equipment that we've used, including our poor pickup truck and fuel trailer. <laughs> so let's get this unloaded and see where we've ended up for the year with corn. Ooh, I went a little too far. There we go. So we're definitely well over a million bushels, or uh, liters that is. Looks like bushels, that factors out, mm, almost 33,000 bushels. Not bad, I'll tag it. And uh, oats, as you can see there, maybe a little over 5,800 bushels. Soybeans, almost 47 bushel, 4,700 bushels that is. Uh, sunflowers, and I think my math says about 918 bushels and wheat and about 525 bushels. So you guys may be wondering, in all honesty, um, how I have that much capacity. Because if you see there, we're only 5% full. And we have that currently sitting in our silo. And that's because in one of the times I was working off camera here, we've added some expansions in the form of these guys. These guys, as long as you're relatively close to the silo, they will help expand your capacity. And these are just small enough where it kind of makes sense. It kind of works out, kind of goes in line with what we have over here. So I'll take it. I need to figure out a spot for us to put a washing station. I think it may end up being kind of over here because I tend to have a habit of just kind of placing my equipment uh, as I'm getting it brought back to the farm or getting done in the fields kind of bringing it over here and just kind of parking it for the time being so I can figure out either what I want to do with it or to make sure I'm done with it so I think it's what we're gonna do right now it's kind of get everything brought over kind of figure out what we need to do next I need to get I will um, I know what I need to do next. Man, that tarp didn't get used at all. You can tell how nice and clean it is. Uh, that John Deere sitting out in the middle of that grass field I need to bring over here. Make sure we get it filled with uh, lime and we need to lime the field we just harvested. So I do love the patriotic theme that we have going on so far for our field, or for our equipment. Some of our more recognizable pieces. Two of the three semi-trucks. And of course, one of our harvesters. No, I wanted to fold that up. There we go. We'll get everything unfolded at some point and get everything cleaned off. Excuse me. That's a frog jump in my throat there. That was just kind of out of nowhere, just kind of really random. All right. Get that shut down. I'm not worried about cooldown because they kind of sat over here while we we're getting everything unloaded. 
So they, these engines have had plenty of time to cool down. So, went ahead and got things going a little bit quicker there. Got this guy doing circles out here in the field for some reason while he gets started and gets his life squared away. We're gonna hop out, come over here, get our plow. Looks like we got some touch-up work to do. like I got some rock picking to do in this field. This was one of the fields that I was initially, this and the cornfield we just harvested, I was initially thinking of kind of expanding the borders a little bit on, kind of get them a little bit close to the road, not have near as much grassland around the border. But then I thought, you know, these are big enough fields as it is. I'm not really going to really worry too much about that. I am kind of going to worry about getting this tractor filled up with fuel and depth before we get over into this field where we're spreading lime. But that's about it. I just need to figure out if I have a tractor that... Ooh, I do. There we go. Helps if I get the right piece selected to refuel. I'm gonna have to get deaf out of the trailer there. I really should look into getting a deaf tank for the farm. Since I have quite a few pieces of equipment that require it. here. Good, already selected. Perfect. Nope, didn't want to get an any of you. Alright, so now that we got this filled up and ready to go, I need to grab... piece of equipment for us to start working on the uh, rock picking. Gonna make sure we shut that down because I believe it was left running along with the other tractor. Oh man, what a jog. There we go. So don't tell me you're wanting to crash on me. You know what? I still kind of want one down here, but I believe I do have a pressure washer up here. I do. Yeah, I don't really want to make this be my washing pad up here. Kind of make the area around the house all muddy and nasty. I think I will put one down here, though. Let's get this taken off, because I don't need the plow if I'm going to be uh, rock harvesting. Yeah, that is in there. Looked a little odd to me at first. Whoop. Cool. 
This thing pulls it like it's nothing. Right, 47.55 with turbo. I don't know if this is going to be a mistake or not, but we're going to get this going on a course play path as well. Oh, there we go. Um, hold up. Yeah, we're going to skip. We'll do every three. How about that? I want to watch this here at first. And I think once I rock pick both of these fields, I think we're going to have these guys ready to go for winter time. Um, yeah, I mean, I could plant wheat. I'm out of now the time frame for oil cedar radish, and I really don't want to do grass. Not in these fields. I'll put it that way. So, yeah, these are just kind of lay barren. We'll at least have the lime spread in. Or we'll get the rocks picked out. I have a feeling we'll still have to do rock picking in the spring after we get the fields cultivated. But we'll kind of see how it goes from there. I hate to leave these fields barren like they are. But at the same time, though, if we can do a quick cultivation in the springtime, I'll be down for it. At least everything will be turned over in the ground so if anything just kind of freshen up get any winter compact off the field from any snow we might get because i still have no idea what the snowfalls are like here it'll be interesting but i, I know i haven't been doing too much talking today um i don't know it, I've just kind of been a little out of it today. I've been on vacation this week. Sorry about that. That was my microphone hitting... Well, microphone on my headset hitting the microphone that I'm talking to. <laughs> Which is you guys. I'll put it that way. Um, yeah, I've been on vacation this week. But you guys haven't really noticed probably because videos have been coming out about as normal as they can be. So... I've been trying to stay on top of those while I'm getting everything done. It's a staycation, just working on things around the house mainly, so. Nothing too crazy. Just needing some time away from the paying gig and just getting some time at home with the pups and just getting some, a few things done. It's been a very relaxing vacation to say the least. I still have a couple more days left before I gotta make my way back into work and get paid for being there instead of you know getting paid for being home so yeah mm. tasty drink I'm not gonna tell you guys what I'm drinking because well it's not for everybody I'll put it that way and yes it is alcoholic like, well, has alcohol in it. <clears throat> and I'm pretty sure it's rum. I love my rum. But, yeah. I think this is going to be a little bit of a shorter video this week. So I'm just going to go ahead and edit it there. This is going to take over an hour and a half. I don't feel like really recording that much for you guys. I'll just let it roll in the background, and I think by the time you guys see me again, we'll be hopefully getting ready to plant in the spring. I hope. We will see. It just depends on how much I get into playing this and how quickly I want to fast forward time and if anything of significance pops up. So, yeah, well, uh, like I said, we're just going to call the video there. So, as always, if you happen to like what you see, if you catch yourself watching more than one of my videos, please do us both a favor. And hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. Because as we all know, that bell will help let you be notified of every single video I post. And not just select you here and there. 
And I do want to say that if you made it this far in the video, guys, as always, I do want to say that thank you and I greatly appreciate each and every single one of you. And I do also want to say that I hope each and every single one of you has a fantastic weekend. And we will catch you in the next episode. So take care. Peace. Peace.